everyone. I am Medstuck for University Star League, and today... No, I, I can't just say this. I, I'm gonna have to sing it. Today is December 23rd, and it's my turn to represent University Star League calendar. And I am so excited, I don't know what to do. Actually, I've don't know uh, what to do because I've forgotten. Can someone help me? Help, please? Hel <gasps> but I can help you. You can? I know just what to do. Oh, please tell me. What am I supposed to do? All you need to do is you should light the candle. It's something you can handle. Oh. I'm gonna light the candle now. I'm gonna light it. But how? I brought the matches. Oh, you brought matches? Yeah. Just for me? Yeah, for you. Because I care about you. You care about me? And I care about games. About gaming. I care about students, but most of all, I care about. Be with me now. You. you. Dum. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Dream Duck and... Uh, and Soup Duck, of course. Yep. And we're sitting cozying down here. It's uh, it's not much left till Christmas, man. No, it's t tomorrow in Sweden. Yep. In Sweden. Uh, we have celebrate on the 24th, as most of you viewers out there know already. Yep. yep. Um, so tomorrow is Christmas. Today is the 23rd day of the University Star League Christmas calendar. Exactly. Which is equally important as Christmas, I think. A, a bit... Uh, more important. A bit, bit more important. Yeah, Depends yeah. on who you're asking. Yeah, Equally yeah. important for, for the rest <laughs> of the world. For us, of course, it means everything. Slightly more. Yep, though. yep. And they're talking about Christmas, maybe. I don't know. No, this game is no, this way is older than way this. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not way older than us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, someone's going to have a, a good time. I don't get it, but fair enough. Let's introduce the uh, the two players <laughs> just for that. And I'm going to grab this one. Uh, here sure. down, in uh, down in the left corner, we have our Zerg player, named after the, the bad guy in a chil children's movie uh, based on... <laughs> oh, never mind. I'm <laughs> not going to start... From it. Well, ev if ev everybody knows Tangle. If you don't, then uh, you're not Swedish. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Google it. Yeah, Google <laughs> it. In the top uh, right corner, we have our Protoss players, and uh, our Protoss player, and this is VMG Shoulder, who's been playing at our uh, events as yeah. well. As well, he played against. Oh, he played against Theovide. Theovide. Yeah, and he, unfor he he played very well. It was very close, but unfortunately, he didn't take any games against uh, Theovide. He had one large weakness, and that was drops. He handled those very yeah, bad, and that was correct. the only that was his only actual weakness. Uh, Theovide was very very scared f for a few games there. I uh, think I think though that that uh, one this game was played before that show event. Oh. Show event, I think. Yeah. Uh, because That's the show true, event was at Meta, so it was uh, quite late in the group stage. Yeah. And the uh, second, uh, Tengil plays a Zerg, yeah. so not that much of a dropping race. Uh, if there are drops, they're usually a bit later in the game yeah. compared to Terran drops. Yeah. So um, that is, of course, in the favor of Sholdar. That is, very much so. Also in the favor of Sholdar is that Tengil is actually a Silver League player. Yeah. Shoulder is a Master League player, I which think means that uh, he should be 
the favorite in this matchup. Yeah, I think that's a lot more of a favorable position <laughs> for it, actually. And uh, to start off uh, analyzing the game, uh, <laughs> Tangle, uh, Tangle um, damned Shoulder for double piloting here. Yeah, um, yeah. He uh, blocked both possible Very expansions. bad mannered. So he went for a macro hatch instead. Yeah, he's going for a macro hatch and he's got six Zerglings coming out together with a queen and the question is, is he going to try to take those bases or is he going to try to put down a lot of pressure? What is he going to do? Uh, shoulder at the same time uh, is just finishing. Oh, he's first and he's going to finish his second gas very soon as well. And he hasn't taken his expansion yet, but I'm guessing that it's going to go come down any moment right now. He's taking a short-paced game. He's just looking for what's going to happen here. I don't a slow-paced game. I don't really know what. Scouting around before he manages, he decides if upon taking that or not. I don't even know. He's floating a bunch of minerals right now, but I think he's just being cautious. He doesn't want to get caught off by anything, uh, anything cheesy. I mean, he knows that. Uh, Zergling should arrive at yes. about this time. Uh, at if about this time, if they the exactly, if they decided to run straight across ma the map, and of course, since he uh, blocked both expansions, he could have expected that. Yeah. yeah. But still, no expansion for uh, Protoss. Nope. Which no is, expansion uh, yet. A bit out of the ordinary. Yes. Uh, after a forge, forge fast <laughs> usually comes expand. And <laughs> exactly. Forge yeah. slow expand is <laughs> is not what you see usually and uh, might well be gearing up for some uh, there's some four <laughs> three more gateways coming down so he's got four gateways up and he's got warp gate as well this and plus one so the question is is this going to be a late for a four gate with a plus one instead yeah kind of fake fake forge fast expand yeah fake forge fast expand and meanwhile uh, trying out some new strategies yeah playing against the lower league player exactly why not <laughs> It's always nice to try them out here, and then you possibly have to refine them a little a before bit, you start bit, playing yeah. against uh, uh, the big dogs, if you put it that way. So but this then means again it's actually three, four, well, two two Zerg bases and the macro hatch against yep. a single Protoss uh, Nexus. Next. Yeah, which is interesting. And uh, Tengil is building a lot of links and and a roach and a roach, single roach, the loneliest roach in the world. As of right now, since it's the only one. I mean, but this this actually means that if uh, shoulder does not put on pressure, yeah, he, he is actually behind in economy. Ooh, and here we go. These circlings are attacking the zealots, but in a pretty bad position in that yeah. choke, unfortunately. Yeah. And, and the question is, is it going to take? Yeah, he took out two zealots with the lonely roach. <laughs> this is the re hero roach I, uh, right here. If I would be Maximus Black, I would name him <laughs> Jeff and put some hero music in the back here. And but did he spot the forward pylon? I'm not sure. I don't think it did. Let's see. Uh, no, it didn't. Nope. So uh, he it didn't spot that. So he doesn't know that that's coming yet. Um, behind this, he's upgrading uh, his lair. It's going to finish as r uh, right now. Actually, he's yeah. saturated a bit of his... Uh, of so his natural first, here. The first warping is done now. And yeah. We'll see what oh, and pressure. here they come. Yes. And these roaches need to back off uh, to, oh well, I think allow time for the spine crawler to finish. Yeah. Which is going to be a bit tricky. We've got five roaches uh, coming out more. And he's got metabolic boost finishing, so we could uh, fill in with Zerglings after this. He's got the two queens coming down here, and, uh, well, um, just the second round of uh, yeah, the second stalkers. round of war stalk stalkers are going to do a lot of damage here. And the question is, are we going to see a transfuse? No, we did see a transfuse. But here's some workers uh, trying to take some damage uh, for the units here. Uh, these um, oh, they're just moving it up up the ramp. And uh, well, the MG shoulder is uh, focusing down those roaches like a ball, so though. Yeah. Faking the expand, doing yeah. a late four gate, and yep. rolling in and. Everything. And that flush plus one, plus one really helps as yeah, well. Yeah. Um, there's a few. Oh, there's a whole bunch of circlings coming out here with a few roaches, but uh, with the plus one, I really don't think that's going to be enough. No. Uh, oh, a transfuse on the roach here uh, <laughs> allows him to take out uh, a few more stalkers. And actually, oh, this queen just turns around. Uh, could do a lot more damage here, but now there's so many more. Uh, there's so many more um, stalkers coming in. And well, there's the GG from there Tangle. There is the GG. And uh, man, we've uh, we just yesterday we had a Masters against uh, 
bronze. bronze. Today, Mosses against silver. And, uh, ooh, Tangle put up a nice fight. 36 yeah, to 48. He's not behind, a lot behind, no. actually. And the point is, if he would have scouted that forward pilot, he could have prepared yeah. and possibly even held this. Yeah, it was close. The it was close. The if the spines, spine yeah, if the spines would have been a little, uh, little earlier and he would have started the round of uh, production uh, a little earlier, he could have held it, held this actually. Yeah. yeah. Which would have been an interesting position. The question is, what would Shoulder have done that when he figured, oh, he's on another, he's on one more base than I am, and uh, I'm not going to be able to break it. Uh, no, but that would have been a lot of fun. That would have been a lot of fun. This was quite a lot of fun this as well. This was quite a lot of fun w as well. We're still very happy. Happy pandas over here. And uh. we've seen in the tournament that uh, actually these lower league players uh, have managed sometimes to take a game yeah. of uh, yeah. a higher level player. But Which is seldom awesome. the series. Seldom, the Very seldom the series. But, That's but true. a few games have actually went the, the yeah. unpredicted way. So yep, yep. this could m very well have been one of them. But yep, yep. Uh, Shoulder managed to break down the Zerg defenses. Yes. All right, so let's end it for today, and we're going to dig up an awesome replay for tomorrow because that's the last day of our Christmas the calendar. The final day. Yeah, and man, do I have to work on that intro to get make it epic. Yeah. Yeah. So check back tomorrow yep. for the final episode of the University Star League Christmas calendar. Ooh. This is Soup Duck signing out. And Dream Duck signing out. Bye.